greetings in this chapter we'll learn about ideal gases elementary kinetic theory it is a very important chapter for thermal physics for kinetic theory of gases the basic very basic introduction of statistical mechanics as well uh, in this chapter we'll learn uh, some uh, basic very basic definition uh, and the how pressure exerted by an ideal gases um, but uh, with that for your helping um, and for your help in studies we are attaching some study notes there uh, you can have it uh, you can find it uh, if you want to so you can go for go, go through it now let's start the chapter what is an ideal gases an ideal gas is a very theoretical concept where a molecules are having negligible volume and intermolecular force the particle of the gases are moved randomly and only having elastic collision this is the basic definition of ideal gas in reality these conditions are not followed so in reality that gases are called real gas now for finding how a pressure exerted by an ideal gas we need to uh, assume some um, theory this assumption on basis of um, some very um, scientific method and uh, that all the assumption should be make sense make sense uh, like the first assumption a gas consists of very large number of identical molecules because a gas consists of very number of large number of molecules that is 6.03 into 10 to the power 26 this is a huge number it is very makes sense very much makes sense, making sense that if a molecule uh, gas consists of that number of molecules then it will also uh, uh, have a large number of identical molecules the molecules are regarded as point masses because because the molecules are very microscopic very small so it can be regarded as point masses the gas molecules are state and uh, are in state of constant random motion as there are no intermolecular forces uh, working why not intermolecular force checking the first one their mass is a point masses uh, so there are no intermolecular force in their gravity there any other force are not working on that so there are no intermolecular forces working and that's why the gas molecules are state in constant random motion the molecule of gases experience force only during collision later on pressure um, by uh, exerted by an ideal gases let's uh, see the figure uh, there are uh, molecules in the very much random motion uh, some molecule in that direction some that direction but but we have to find the pressure and exerted by that ideal gas so we will find some method the first we will start, mm -hmm, start how we will find it we will get let's see how we will find it let a mu kilo mole of gas confined in a cubical container of side L the total number of particle of the gas is then n let's uh, change the slide we'll come back to it later so the number density is capital n by v the v is actually l cube uh, because v is volume and uh, let the consider first the uh, let the first consider the molecules of group 1 moving with velocity v1 now uh, resolving that volume v1 into the orthogonal coordinate we can write v1 square is equal to v1 x square plus v1 y square plus v1 z square now the thing that uh, v1 was the motion so in the that wall a1 this is a phase a1 here the momentum was m v1 x m is the mass of the molecule and uh, that go through there and here a collision happened and bounce back to there this total the path is uh, l and return to l that is 2l uh, and uh, this uh, return to that when it uh, it was mv on x there uh, a collision happened and return as it is a elastic collision from the assumption we know this is a elastic collision so the change of momentum will be mv 1x so the total change in momentum will be 2 mv1 x this is uh, makes sense this makes sense and now 
uh, we after the collision of the surface it's changed that 2l 2l by v1 x the time taking is uh, 2l by v1 x so the rate of change of momentum is equal to the 2 m v1 x by del t is equal to m v1 x square by l uh, this is called rate of change of momentum uh, we already know the rate of change of momentum is called force and the pressure is so that force is equal to mv square x one mv one x square by l and the pressure exerted by the molecule in group one is equal to f one x by l square basically the area the force is equal uh, at the pressure is equal to force upon the area so the uh, of group one m n one v one x square by l cube here one thing is important this n1 is the number of molecule in group 1 the number of molecule in group 1 now uh, the same way we'll find that this uh, for the second group of molecule third group of molecule and that so on let's have the g number of group of molecules so the total pressure exerted by the molecule along x axis uh, along x axis is px is equal to sum of p1 uh, pix that ix means all the pressure element of the all the pressure component here m by l cube uh, ni vix square from a uh, summation of y, i is equal to 1 to g that is for the all total pressure exerted by all molecules along that only x axis not all uh, the axis yet we ha have not find all the axis we just have find only the x axis let's for second we will find this that too now we will find the average value of vx square that vx square bar that is means average is the mean uh, is equal to ni vix square the total number of molecules and their multiplication by total number of molecules that we have from uh, summation of i1 to g uh, is equal to ni vix square by capital n the all number of molecules at the equilibrium the all mo molecules moves randomly so uh, all direction of the motion are equally um, possible so we can write v1 vx square bar plus bar of vy square um, is equal to this um, is equal to one third of total bar of vx square plus vy square plus vz square is equal to one third of v square v square but and now we have to find that vy square is that so the pressure is equal to now we have the pressure is equal to one third of mn v square v bar square uh, this m this n could be written as capital n by v so we can write now 1 by 3 v m capital N V bar square for a mole of gas N is equal to N A so Avogadro's number P V is equal to one third of M small m capital N A V bar square one third of M capital N V bar square M molecule where M this M is molecular weight of gases M is the molecular weight of gases now we reached almost to the end of uh, the lesson uh, where we will find some uh, interesting thing that now this v is um, let the v here so p v is equal to 1 by a, a 3 small n capital n a v bar square let this term can be written by m what is the molecular weight of gases now P is equal to the pressure is equal to one third of rho v bar square. How can we write that rho? Because the rho is like the density. Uh, the density means that mass into total number of uh, um, that what we have uh, number of molecules that is the density. So P can be written as that. Now VRMS can be written 
uh, in that form v rms means v root mean square uh, we already had the mean square value so root of that is this and this can be read so for this in this form we can be written that p is equal to one third of m in v rms square it was very simple we attached a note to uh, for your helping in your study for your convenience uh, we'll uh, meet you soon with this chapter kinetic uh, interpretation of temperature root mean square of speed and some law of ideal gases thanks for watching